Right. And Absolutely. when someone says you made me, people don't realize taking responsibility and accountability gives you power because it gives you the power to say no one can make you do anything. That's right. And, and I thought this story, you know, blew my mind. But as you dive deeper into it, it really shows where a lot of people are. And I hear, you know, a lot of people blaming others for their situation. They're blaming their environment. They're blaming their circumstance. They're blaming their parents. They're blaming their coaches. They're blaming their girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever it is. Their bosses, and, and yeah. their bosses right. And, and holding yourself accountable for the situation that you're in and the dreams that you want to eventually manifest, like you said, Mark, is so powerful. But it, it, it shows, that, that guy shows me, like in one sentence, he shows me exactly where he is in his life. I don't have to know any details, but I know where that guy is currently in his life if that was his reaction, to blame me for, for walking out with his head down, headphones in, and not having a clue what he was doing. Yes. And, this topic's huge, and it and it hits so many different areas. It does, and and what it, what I really want to because I've been you know on, on different levels of it, and something I have really realized over the years, and just having the honor to meet so many, we always say you know significantly successful people, including all the amazing guests we've had, they take personal accountability. So if you want to be successful, you have to learn. And it's a learned skill to take personal accountability. And some people listening right now, you know, might be like, oh, no, but I don't want to take accountability for this or I want to blame that. What they will realize is when you take accountability, it's actually a freeing thing because it tells you, and we've kind of said this before, I'm in charge of of my life. No one else dictates my my life and my dreams and Maybe my car landed in the ditch. Maybe a tornado threw me in the ditch. But the thing is, I'm in a ditch. I drove in here. I can drive out. And that's right. that's power that you have as soon as you take accountability for it. Right. And I think, isn't it easier to, to make an excuse is so much easier, to blame others is so much easier because it doesn't take any work. Like you, you to take accountability takes fearlessness, takes this takes this commitment, takes a dedication to look at yourself in the mirror and, and say, you know what? It's on me and saying it's on me. That might mean short term. I screwed up. That might mean short term. I'm a, I I don't like to say I'm a failure, but I'm a short term. I hit some obstacles and maybe I have to adjust my strategy. It's so much easier to look to your right and to your left and blame the people on those sides of you versus straight ahead into the mirror and saying, you know what, this, where I am right now is on me as if as as where I will be is also on me. Yes, you have accountability partners. Yes, you have mastermind groups we talked about, but essentially and, and, and essentially it is on you. Yes. And, and, and I think that's so massively important. The, the way that it's on people is even if it's their circumstances, like say, for instance, someone's in in our mastermind. I'm just going to throw this out there because you just talked about it. And they're not going where they want to go and they feel like, okay, Dane's telling me to do this and Mark's telling me to do this and their advice um, isn't taking me where I I want it to go and this is screwing up here and there. They can either choose to be like, it's Dane's fault, it's Mark's fault, or we can talk more in depth about it and see if there's something that can be learned and grown through it. Or they have the ultimate choice to, to leave the mastermind. But no matter what, they're still accountable for manifesting their dream. It's That's the thing. Even if you hate your job, you hate your boss, the, again, the choice is yours. You might not be able to change your boss, but you can change by working somewhere else. Right. There's no change that's going to happen externally until you change internally. Right. Nothing externally happens until you take accountability internally. And that's looking yourself straight in the face, in the mirror and saying, you know what, my, my destiny, my dreams, my life, my future, it's on me. And so whether it's about a boss, okay, do something about it. You're, and do something about it as, as it pertains to you. You're not going to change, like you said, Mark, you're not going to change your boss. That's not going to happen. You're not going to change this person over here, your mom, your parents, your friend. It's not, but what can you change about yourself? What can you adjust about yourself? And just a pure decision of, you know what? Okay. From here on out, 
whether I'm 20 or whether I'm 40, I'm going to take personal accountability for everything that I do say, think, and everything that happens to me, I'm going to pre-accept as my responsibility. And, and, and that, that decision alone, before we even, even take any action, before we even see any, any physical, you, you know, physical success manifest itself, that decision alone creates massive self-confidence.